Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Bublé has defrosted. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. No matter what age you are, do not ever chase someone who is showing you that they're not sure about you, or they're not respecting you, or they're not thinking about you. Be honest with me. What is the real reason why you're still thinking about that same person that f***s you over every single time? Okay, so there are two reasons and they both relate to psychology. Number one, sunk cost bias. Once you start investing time, energy and emotions, you want to pay off for your efforts. And when there's no payoff, it's painful walking away empty handed. And number two, variable reward. Scenarios that produce unpredictable results release the feel good hormone dopamine, which is why slot machines are so addictive and why stable, predictable partners can sometimes feel boring. If you like this tip, follow for more. A shout out and sending love to everyone who's doing their best to heal from things they do not discuss. If you're in bed right now, look next to you. Nothing special, right? Now imagine them cuddling and holding your hand. Notice how I didn't mention their name and they still popped up into your head. Someone once asked me, what is a true friend? I said a true friend isn't the one who makes your problems disappear. A true friend is the one who won't disappear when you're facing your problems. My only regret is that I didn't tell enough people to fuck off. Girls be like, I like him. Why can't he make the first move? Why don't you make the first move? I couldn't agree more and here's why. You probably say hi to a lot of people that you don't know that well. But the moment you see someone attractive, it becomes the first move where you attach a result to the conversation. The result being, will they like me or not? Fear of rejection, judgment, and desperation only exists because you're approaching the conversation with a win or lose mindset. The key is to remove this notion of the first move and start making conversations like you would with anyone else where the outcome doesn't matter. If you like this tip, follow for more. Sometimes, parents don't make their feelings clear. They assume that their children know of the deep love that they feel for them. Yet when misunderstandings occur and things are left unsaid, it can lead to needless doubts and insecurities. I don't ever want you to feel insecure and I want you to remember these words I'm telling you now because they will always be current and never changing. You are the greatest thing that ever happened to me. There's nothing I'd rather see than your smiles, and there's nothing I'd rather hear than your laughter. I am proud of who you've become, and no matter what happens in your life, I have the confidence in your ability to make the right choices. I love you. No matter what age you are, do not ever chase someone who is showing you that they're not sure about you, or they're not respecting you, or they're not thinking about you. Here's a harsh truth you didn't know you needed and this one's gonna hit hard, there's your warning. If a man truly wants you, you'll never have to ask for effort. It'll always be there. He'll call you, he'll text you. He'll make sure you feel special. He'll always chase after your heart. A man is always gonna chase after the person that he truly wants. Know your worth. Here's a harsh visual about life. It's gonna make more sense after this. Pay attention till the end. This piece of tape here represents life and everything that holds yours together. You start to listen to everyone else and all the negative things they say about you. You take it to heart. Put the tape on. Now take it off. You stay in that relationship you know you shouldn't be in because you're afraid of being alone and you're afraid of losing that person, but instead, you lose yourself. Put the tape back on. Now take it off. You start to become depressed, and instead of helping your own self, you start helping other people to stay busy, to numb your pain. Put the tape back on. Now take it off. At this point, you've lost all your self-worth and you don't know what happened, and you're trying to fix everything. Put the tape back on. Now take it off. The point comes in your life where you have a loss. Only thing guaranteed is death. Try to hold everything together, but you can't. Put it back on. Now take it off. Would you expect this piece of tape to hold everything together? Know your worth. Love yourself. Love God. And everything else will fall into place. Hope this helps. God bless. You can't hurt an overthinker. They've already seen it coming. They plowed out every scenario on their own head. They're prepared for it. All you're doing is proving them right. Just saying. <laughs> you know what? This is gonna hurt.
hurt to hear and I'm sorry I'm the one that has to say it. You deserve so much better than what you're getting. You deserve someone that is always going to be falling in love with you every single day. They're always going to be excited to talk to you, always be excited to see you. They're always going to respect you and they're going to love you for your feelings. You don't deserve people that are indecisive, lukewarm and half-hearted with what they do. You know you deserve better. I promise. You attract what you think you deserve and remember, it is so much better to be alone than to be with someone who makes you feel like you're alone. Love yourself, know your worth, love God, and everything else will fall into place. I really hope this helps. God bless. Actually, I hold a lot in. When I'm upset, I don't really like to tell anyone. No matter how much anyone asks, the answer will always be, I'm fine. Even if it's not true. Lost and found. FYI. A woman that doesn't take any lies, disrespect, or crap from anyone is not a toxic person and is not a bad person. She is someone who simply knows her worth. Know the difference. Know true value when you see it. One of the hardest things you'll ever do in life is to turn the page knowing that someone will not be in the next chapter. <laughs> Just remember, no matter what you're going through, God chose to wake you up this morning. He's not finished with you yet. And all your pain has a purpose, I promise. Just have a little bit of faith. You're good. Trust me. What's the biggest mistake we can make in life? It's assuming that we have time. Time is free, but it's also priceless. You can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. And once it's lost, it's gone forever. So stop wasting time living someone else's life and do what's right for you. Love yourself, love God, know your worth, and everything else will fall into place. God bless. Four things you learn as you get older. One, you can't make real friends with fake people. Two, you sit back and observe and realize that not everything needs a reaction. Three, you learn to trust your intuition and if something doesn't feel right about a person or situation, you don't waste your time trying to deny it. And four, the older you get, the less you feel the need to be included, understood, or accepted. In this life, be careful who you trust. Those people you say you take a bullet for, usually the ones that pull the trigger. Here's just a daily reminder I think we all needed to hear. God is going to take people out and put people in your life according to his perfect plan. And trust me, it's perfect. And those people are going to either help you in a good way or help you in a bad way. Either way, you're going to learn a solid, valuable lesson that you needed. You need to seek failure. And when you fail, learn from it and grow from it. When God sees you doing your part, he's going to open doors that no man can ever shut. I promise you. The Bible says don't be afraid 365 times. That's your daily reminder to not ever be afraid. Love God, love yourself, know your worth, and everything else will fall into place. God bless.